All eyes are on Capitol Hill as the public impeachment inquiry starts tomorrow into the whistleblower's complaint. It goes back to that July phone call, President Trump, uh, where they are saying he pressured the Ukrainian president to investigate the business dealings of Joe Biden's son while holding up U.S. aid to that country. President Trump tweeting out today, I will be releasing the transcript of the first and therefore more important phone call with the Ukrainian president before week's end. Uh, I want to bring in Pennsylvania Congressman John Joyce. Congressman Joyce, thanks for joining us. Charles, thank you. So, you know, it was interesting because when we saw the transcript uh, or uh, the outline of the first of uh, that other phone call between President Trump and, U and Ukraine's president, at that time, I personally didn't see a smoking gun and I thought maybe this uh, this whole thing would go away. Since then, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been intensified. There's been a lot of debate over who should speak, who shouldn't speak. A lot of the proceedings were held behind closed doors, less opaque now. But uh, the Republicans still have a lot of issues with this, don't they? Absolutely. And from the beginning, the impeachment inquiry has been about two major issues. First of all, avenging the 2016 election. And secondly, and sadly, it's about sabotaging President Trump. Three years ago, my constituents, the constituents of South Central Pennsylvania, voted duly and democratically to put President Trump as our president. And yet the Democrats are looking to cancel our votes. And people aren't taking that, Charles. I spent a week at home. And it doesn't matter if I was leaving the barbershop uh, in downtown Altoona or coming out of Walmart, leaving church. People don't want their votes to be taken away from them. And they realize that this impeachment inquiry is a sham process. You have some Republicans out there, though, I think more recently Condoleezza Rice saying, it's not a good look. Uh, now, whether that is enough to suggest that uh, the sitting president of the United States should be yanked out of office is, is another thing. But what do you make of those rare Republicans out there who are worried about what's, what, what, what went on with the phone call? I think the impeachment inquiry is based on, hear, on hearsay. And so are these comments. We have not had a fair and transparent process. We have not allowed the Republicans to bring forth their own, our own witnesses. And America wants that. America is about that. On that We're note, about Congress, a fair let and let transparent me, process. Let me ask you, uh, with the whistleblower, uh, you hear, I hear a lot of commentators saying that by revealing the identity of the whistleblower, by having that person testify that we harm the whistleblowing process. What do you say to that? I think that in this situation, the president should be allowed due process, and he should be able to face his accused, and the accuser should come forth. All right, Congressman Joyce, thank you very much. Uh, the fireworks begin tomorrow. We appreciate you uh, helping us out there.